What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the latest Buzz TV XRS 4500 and XR 4500. Now if you're not aware, Buzz TV makes full Android TV boxes with advanced innovative software which is specially designed to help you cut the cord and enjoy internet TV in the most convenient way. So for example, if you were to set up these TV boxes for someone less tech savvy, then they would enjoy it as much as a regular satellite box or Sky TV, giving you features like EPG guide, recording programs, timers, customizable favorites, and lots, lots more. So this is Buzz TV's latest additions, the XRS 4500 and the XR 4500. Now both models have more or less the same features and specs, except the XRS 4500 comes with four gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of internal storage. And the XR 4500 comes with two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. So in this video, we are gonna be checking out the XRS 4500, which is the top spec. And the first thing I wanna show you guys is the presentation. Check that out, people. Everything looks so well organized. So let's quickly see what you get inside the box. So we have a user manual, power adapter, and I'll quickly tell you the voltage is five volts to A, and you also get other attachments to cover all your other countries. Isn't that convenient? You will also find an HDMI cable, a remote control, and this is not an ordinary remote control, people. This is probably the best remote control you are ever gonna get supplied with an Android TV box. It is a Bluetooth remote control, but also features dual infrared. Now, this remote control can also be programmed to control some functions of your TV, and the instructions are on the back. Now, the remote is powered by two AAA batteries, and I'll quickly show you some of the functions. So you've got video on demand, TV series, PVR, you've got your play, pause, rewind, You've got separate power buttons for your TV and the TV box. You've got your navigational, live TV, home, and guide. So that's a shortcut to your EPG guide. You can see volume control, and you can see some numbers and some colored shortcuts with the Buzz TV logo at the bottom. And another surprise which I was not expecting is the remote is backlit. Check that out, people. I had to just turn my lights off so you can see that. There is no skimping here. Everything is been so well thought out, so well designed that even a lot of time has been spent in designing this remote control to give you the best experience possible. And last but certainly not least, the TV box itself. So here it is guys, in my hands, the Buzz TV XRS 4500. Now, quick look at the specs. I usually do the specs in the start, but this video has been shot slightly differently. So we have the S905X3 quad-core CPU with the Mali G31. You've got four gigs of DDR4 RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage with dual-band Wi-Fi AC, and you've got a two times two MIMO, so that's dual Wi-Fi antennas. So that's gonna give you the best Wi-Fi connection possible. And along with the best Wi-Fi connection, you also have a gigabit LAN, now you do have Bluetooth 4.1 with full Android version 9 Pi. You've got HDMI version 2.1 and this supports 4K HDR at 60 frames per second with 5.1 surround sound. And of course that amazing dual infrared Bluetooth remote control. So you've got the Buzz TV logo on the top. We've got a shiny black finish. And on the front, we have the Buzz TV logo in the center, which will actually light up. So when you power on the box, you will notice this light up blue. And when you go in standby, it will light up red and it does look quite nice. Now, if we keep going on the side, we have a micro SD card slot, USB 3, USB 2. And on the back, we have an AV port, gigabit LAN, HDMI out, SBDIF audio, and your power socket. And on this side, there is nothing. And that brings us back to the front. And this is what the bottom, of the box looks like. So while we're here, quickly compare the XR 4500. You can see they look exactly the same in design, in ports. So exactly same ports and features, both got gigabit LAN, both got SPDIF, both have two times two MIMO, so dual Wi-Fi antennas. And you also get the same remote control. So both will come with that unique hybrid two-in-one Bluetooth and infrared remote control. And I also forgot to mention that the batteries for the remote control are actually included in the box. Only difference is the amount of RAM, four gigs versus two gigs, and 
64 gigs internal storage versus 16 gigs of internal storage. So in this video, we are mainly going to be reviewing the XRS 4500, but I guess there's no harm doing a quick benchmark test on the XR 4500 just to see what sort of performance difference we are getting. Now I actually have a surprise for you guys at the end of the video, so make sure you watch it till the end. So stay tuned for more info. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this hooked up to my TV and capture card and find out exactly how good this box really is. I'll be right back. Now, first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 48 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. And here is the home screen for this TV box. Now you have a simple minimalistic layout with the local time and date in the top right hand corner along with your connection info for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and Ethernet. And also straight away I am pleased to notice that you do have a navigation status menu at the bottom. Now in the first row you can see shortcuts for live TV, video on demand, TV series and EPG guide. If you click on live TV, it will remember what you were watching last. And if you go back to the home screen, you will still see a live preview of the channel you were watching last. And if you click on EPG guide, you can see what's on TV and you can change channels, set timers and lots more. Now, please note, you do not get live TV for free with this box. This is something you need to purchase yourself and add it to the box from server settings. But once added, you will have beautiful control over all the services, which also includes a video on demand section and also a TV series section. And again, all of these will only work if your live TV service supports it. So the next row of icons are all about your apps, starting with an app drawer, shortcut to app toy TV store and a plus sign. So you can select your favorite apps to appear in this row. And finally, the bottom row has your various settings for server, Wi-Fi, update and Buzz TV utilities. So first of all, let's check out the main settings and go to device preferences and check out the system storage info. Now this box has 64 gigs of internal storage from which we have 54 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that we are running full Android version 9 Pi. Now let's go ahead and check out Buzz TV utilities. So you've got system updates, so this box does support OTA updates. You have a backup and restore section, which is also quite unique and useful. Thereafter, we have home screen rows, so you can have a favorite section for live TV, video on demand, and TV series to show up on the home screen. And I'll show you what that looks like a bit later. Power options lets you decide what happens when the box powers on. So default is standard boot to home screen, or you can have live TV boot up full screen every time you power on. And the other two options are channel list or EPG grid. Now the next option is navigation bar. And from here you can enable and disable this feature. Final option, which is another pleasant surprise, you have three home screens installed on this box. So you've got Buzz TV Modern, which you've already seen. There is also Buzz TV Media Player, which is basically very bare bones. And you also have Buzz TV Classic home screen, which is also quite a nice looking layout. Um, so you've got three choices, three home screens. But I have to say my favorite has to be the Buzz TV Modern home screen. And as you can see, I have switched on the home screen favorites. So all my favorite live TV channels, movies and TV shows will conveniently appear here for some one click action. Now let's go ahead and check out the complete system apps. Here are all the apps available on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet. These are your standard apps and you get Aptoid TV, YouTube, Netflix, and of course the full version of the Google Play Store. So you can go ahead and install all your favorite games and apps. So this box has Miracast built in. So that's the first thing we need to test. But unfortunately I tried connecting with my P30 Pro and my Google Pixel. And no matter how many times I tried, I just could not connect to Miracast with this box. So for some reason, I could not get Miracast to work on this device. So now I'm gonna play some 4K video samples from a USB drive, and I will be doing this with the included Movie Player app. So let's go ahead and play the first file. So moving on now to the YouTube test and you can stream a maximum of 4K on YouTube.
It was dead. Capone lives like a king in Florida. He has full-blown dementia. Here is the place it came from. responsibility and honor to lead a country of such import it's actually not that hard i'm happy to hear anyone's problems with me so next up we have netflix and according to the test clip this box supports netflix in 540p sd quality everything that lives on land now moving on to the gaming test and the first thing i want to test out on this is project x xbox game streaming so let's see how game streaming performs on this tv box Driving for this team, you'll experience some key moments of a Formula 2 season, a thrill-packed racing championship in its own right, and the springboard to Formula 1. At the end of this feeder series... For your advanced users, DRM Info shows Google Widevine Level 1. And here is CPU Z where you can check out the clock speeds and you can see we are running the Mali G31. This box is running Android version 9 and does not come rooted as standard. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, I achieved near enough my top broadband speed of 60 megabits per second download and 18 megabits per second upload. And here are the results for the internal disk speed test. We achieved 133 megabytes per second read and 89 megabytes per second write. And that brings us to our benchmarks beginning with Geekbench multi-score of 2248. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 83K. Now I also run the same test on the XR4500 model and we had the same DRM level one. On the internal disk speed test, we had a slightly lower read speed of 117 megabytes per second and write speeds of 70 megabytes per second. And in the Geekbench test, we achieved 2330. And in Antu 2, we achieved 83K. So let's see how all of this compares in our benchmark chart. So here is my top Android TV box chart of 2020, showing you the latest boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. And as you can see, the Buzz TV XRS 4500 is ranked at position 9 with a benchmark score of 83,996. And just under it, the XR 4500 ranks at number 10, also with a very similar benchmark score. So very interesting results we have here. So even with the extra RAM boost, you're not going to get a huge difference in noticeable performance as you have exactly the same chipset and firmware. And if you take a look at sheet two of my main chart, you will see another chart. And this chart is actually designed especially for internet TV boxes. Now these are the best TV boxes in this category. And as you can see, the new Buzz TV XRS 4500 has taken position two and the XR 4500 has taken position three on this chart. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the brand new Buzz TV 4500 series. And here are my final thoughts. Everything about this TV box is quality. It's very well designed both inside and out. Now the firmware, although looks quite minimalistic, it's actually very well thought out and it's designed to give you the best user experience possible when it comes to internet TV. Bottom line, this has to be one of the best TV boxes you can pick up right now, especially designed for internet TV. The layout, the usability, customization options makes it a no brainer. If you genuinely want to cut the cord, then this box is the one you should consider. Now as promised, 
there is a surprise which I mentioned earlier in the video. So if you made it this far, then you now have a chance to win the XR 4500 Android TV box. I have two in front of me which I am going to give away to two of you lucky winners. This is an international giveaway so everyone is welcome to enter. I will personally be posting this prize out to the winners. So to enter the giveaway just check out the Gleam link in the description box below and follow the instructions and make sure you are following, liking, sharing and subscribed to this YouTube channel and also my other social channels and all the relevant links will be in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this detailed review. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.